Welcome to the Palm Beach Civic Association's Committees at Work. In this series of reports, we present a three-part program on dementia and Alzheimer's disease brought to you by the Civic Association's Healthcare Committee. Join us as we delve into the complexities of these conditions, exploring the latest research, innovative treatments, and compassionate care strategies. Hello, I'm Claudia Shea. Here in Palm Beach, we have the opportunity to enjoy a healthy lifestyle 12 months out of the year, which as it turns out is not only important to your mental and cardiac health, but also a prescription for lowering your risk of cognitive decline. Now, in part three of our dementia series, we focus on prevention, including lifestyle changes and breakthrough medical advances in screenings, assessments, and no-cost clinical trials. The Alzheimer's Research and Treatment Center in Wellington provides care for those diagnosed with dementia and screens those at high risk of developing it even decades down the road. What we're trying to do is identify whether or not you have any of this beta amyloid, which builds up into your brain, forms into a plaque, a big sticky substance, attaches to the neurons, and eventually kills the neurons. With our advancements, we can actually detect whether you have this. This clinic is one of only 13 in Florida participating in a clinical trial called the AHEAD study, a trial aimed at getting ahead of Alzheimer's by determining what's going on in the patient's brain before they show symptoms, and if there is evidence of cognitive decline, engaging intervention. The trial is funded, in part, by the National Institutes of Health at no cost to patients. What I'd like for you to do is replicate it. Go ahead and make another version exactly like this one down here without it touching. The assessment involves memory and thinking tests, then, if necessary, more involved procedures. First, we can try a blood mar biomarker to see if it's there. If it shows up in your blood, then we would progress to a PET-CT. A PET-CT is a type of CAT scan that we use. We inject a tracer specifically designed to stain the beta amyloid. Patients with elevated levels of beta amyloid may be treated intravenously with Liquambi, a drug approved by the FDA in July of 2023, which has shown remarkable efficacy in slowing down cognitive decline in patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease by reducing amyloid plaque. Combating dementia through research trials and treatment is also the mission of the Institute for Neurodegenerative Diseases of Florida in Boca Raton. Our research program aims to use blood testing, blood normal blood tests, uh, to identify proteins in the blood that we can identify decades before the first symptom of memory loss or other symptoms begin. Blood is stored in this medical grade freezer indefinitely because tomorrow's technology may solve today's mysteries. Our new testing that we're looking at, this is going to give us the capability to say maybe there's other biomarkers that we, we weren't able to catch before. Or maybe we can see the, the known biomarkers better. We can actually see fluctuations better because it's more sensitive. It's one order of magnitude more sensitive than the current testing methodologies. And doctors say establishing a cognitive baseline is essential to an accurate diagnosis, intervention, and treatment. Understand what a person's risk is, what their risk factors are. Understand what their blood markers are. Understand what their brain looks like. Understand what their... Uh, sleep patterns are, their nutrition patterns, their exercise patterns, and then based on this data, we can give each person a targeted or individualized approach to reduce their risk for Alzheimer's and other related conditions. Doctors say taking a holistic approach to reducing the risk of neurodegenerative disease involves a synergy of intentional health and wellness practices. Dr. Isaacson describes this in his book, The Alzheimer's Prevention and Treatment Diet, Using Nutrition to Combat the Effects of Alzheimer's Disease. We know that if people eat a Mediterranean-style diet, green leafy vegetables, fatty fish, alcohol in low amounts or even in moderation, that can protect cardiovascular health. Well, the same type of dietary pattern has also been associated with better cognitive outcomes. Meaning some of the best medicines you can take for your brain health 
smart dietary and lifestyle choices. Advice underscored by the Cleveland Clinic, which is also committed to a comprehensive approach to dementia care and research. A lot of people think that if there's a family history of Alzheimer's disease, then their risk is much, much higher. And in reality, it really only increases your risk by 10 to 20 percent. So the most important thing is really how you live your life. And that includes your vascular risk factors. Do you have high blood pressure? Do you have diabetes? Do you have high cholesterol? Do you smoke? These are all things that we have control over. You also have control over staying physically fit. Another must for brain health, say doctors. But how much is enough? 30 minutes, five days a week of something that gets your heart rate up. Exercise we know is good for the heart. Well, your brain is no different. So getting that blood pressure under control, getting that plaque burden in your blood vessels to stay as low as possible, keeping your sugar levels down, those are all benefits of aerobic exercise. And then just the, the neurotransmitter changes that we see, we release endorphins and we have all of those changes with aerobic exercise as well. So they all affect the brain. Mental exercise is also key. Salut, je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté de te rencontrer. Whether it's learning a new language, learning a new musical instrument, picking up an old musical instrument that may not have played for several years, um, this is really critical. Also critical, remaining informed. The Alzheimer's Association provides complimentary support in person and online for those interested in learning more about neurodegenerative disorders as well as those who have been diagnosed and caregivers. I speak very passionately about this because I was a caregiver for my brother who died at age 54 with vascular dementia. And there's a lot of misconception and misinformation that's out there. All of our educational programs, it's evidence-based, meaning it's based on research and development. Alzheimer's Association research also indicates that globally, at least 55 million people are living with dementia, and this number will rise to 139 million by 2050. Prevalence is increasing at a rate disproportionate to longevity. Doctors encourage you to be an advocate for your brain health. We have an aging population, so this problem is only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. So the more we know about it from an early age, the hope is that we can lessen the burden as our entire population gets older. While there is no cure yet for dementia, there is great hope thanks to preventative intervention, breakthrough medications, comprehensive screening, and clinical trials that afford a wealth of information at no cost to people who qualify. Prevention is a cure because if we can identify the disease process before the symptoms have started, we can target the disease before the fires spread and the forest burns down and the brain shrivels up and the symptoms become impossible to manage. To accomplish that, doctors we spoke with would like to see the integration of routine screenings for neurological health into primary care practices with the same diligence as cardiac health. For us to have the opportunity to slow down this disease and maybe even halt it one day through prevention that's really what we strive for. And for those patients and caregivers who are currently burdened by the devastation of dementia, remember, help is at hand. We don't want anyone to have to go through this terrible journey by themselves. And knowing that the Alzheimer's here is a resource that's going to be there to support them every step of the way. We can all take steps toward a healthier future with dedication and determination. The Palm Beach Civic Association is making it more convenient for you to take those steps by providing a resource section on our website, palmbeachcivic.org, where you'll find links to access dementia care and support services, information about no-cost clinical trials, breakthrough treatments and medications, beneficial lifestyle choices, and more. Also on our website, be sure to watch the other two reports in this series, Understanding Dementia and Dementia Recognition and Resources. On behalf of the Palm Beach Civic Association and our Healthcare Committee, thanks for joining us.